Now, WTBA Sports with Andy Lee. Montgomery was the site for tonight's 32nd Mississippi Alabama All Star football game. A year ago in Hattiesburg, Mississippi recorded a 42 7 win, its largest margin of victory in the series. Mississippi looking to make it two in a row for the first time since winning four straight from 1992 to 95. Hattiesburg's Jared Connor ties it at seven late in the second quarter with his two yard touchdown run. Early in the third, Mississippi takes a 14 7 lead on Connor's six yard TD run. Connor finished with 112 yards, two touchdowns, and was named the Mississippi MVP. Early in the fourth, like a rock. Tupelo's own Jaquarius J Rock Williams with a punishing touchdown run. J Rock had 94 yards to go with his score. Mississippi wins 24 20. The Blue Shirts have won at two straight and three out of the last four in the series. Mississippi State is off to a 9-1 start this season in men's basketball. On Saturday, the Bulldogs got a big non-conference win over Cincinnati, a perennial tournament team. For the third straight week, MSU moves up in the polls. But first, the AP Top 10, Kansas is number one. Jayhawks followed by Duke, Tennessee, Michigan, and Virginia. Nevada is six, Auburn seven, Gonzaga eight, North Carolina nine. Michigan State rounds out the top 10. Mississippi State up one spot to number 17. Bulldogs number 16 in the coaches poll. Kentucky is there at 19. Mississippi State up a spot in the women's poll. The Bulldogs up to number four following Baylor's loss to Stanford. UConn is number one. Notre Dame two. Louisville three. And Maryland five. MSU plays at number seven. Oregon Tuesday night at 9 p.m. on ESPN2. The Baldwin Invitational Tournament kicked off this afternoon at Baldwin High School. The Pine Grove and Shannon girls led things off. The Panthers take an early 4-0 lead on this rebound and put back by Jesse Mooney. The defending 1A champs open up a 7-0 lead when Lauren Elliott is pure from the corner. Shannon would get on the board when Alina McDowell hits the tough step back J. The Pine Grove too tough. The Panthers down the Red Raiders 53-30. A big event coming to the Summit Center uh, in Tupelo Tuesday night. It's the first annual American Legion Post 49 Baseball Hall of Fame banquet. The inaugural class includes Chris Stratton and Kirk Presley. Former 49ers coach Tack Grant will be inducted posthumously. There are still tickets available for $30. A group can reserve a table for $250. The doors open at 6 p.m. Supper will be served at 645, and the program begins at 730. There's so many people that, that, and so many guys that played and were a part of our program that have meant such a big deal to not only this area but for the post itself and for their specific hometowns. And you know, not, not it's not all guys from Tupelo; it's guys from all over around the area. And uh, you know, some of them have gone on to do incredible things in baseball. And it's just one thing we wanted to do to recognize them, and we hope it's something that we can keep going. Former MSU head baseball coach Ron Polk will serve as the keynote speaker. Some sad news, former MUW athletic director Dr. Joe Spearman has died at age 77. The Saints beat the Panthers 12-9 on Monday Night Football. New Orleans has all but locked up the number one seed in the NFC. There's a look at sports. We're back after this.